In the biblical times, Noah created the ark to save the world. In our modern times, of course, the Department of Science and Technology created a project called Project NOAA and it stands for Nationwide Operational Assessment of Hazards. Let's know more about this. Project NOAA was uh, in response to the instruction, very specific instruction of our president because of what happened to Sendong in Cagayan de Oro, that we should have a six-hour early warning system for flood, flood events in the 18 major river system in the Philippines. It involves uh, getting really a map of all the areas in the country and uh, in a uh, scale that will be, shall we say, uh, very, very specific to a particular place uh, to determine what sort of hazards are in that particular area and at particular periods of time. And uh, this is communicated through information, communications technology tools, uh, Gamit lamang ang inyong cellphone or ang inyong iPad, you can already uh, monitor what's happening in a particular location at a particular time. Through Project NOAA, uh, we're coming up with a, with a tablet we call MOSES. It's Mobile Systems for Emergency Services, wherein we can link up the disaster responders or the disaster managers, we can link up with their subgroups and also to the public you know, for, uh, for early warning and uh, all other information related to hazards and uh, uh, potential disasters. So. Uh, that is one. Um, we're also coming up with a 24 by 7 broadcast platform where you can actually uh, view weather and uh, well, daily weather in this 24-hour uh, uh, broadcast platform. It will be avail available on, uh, on, on the web uh, very, very soon and hopefully by, for broadcast uh, before the year ends. Now, Dream Naman is a, uh, is a part of Project NOAA because uh, we sh should have a high resolution topo map, all of this in digital, for us to be able to develop uh, flood modeling. Uh, the Dream Project is the Disaster Risk and Exposure Assessment for Mitigation Program. It's a uh, five-component program uh, supported by the Department of Science and Technology and being implemented by the University of the Philippines. It seeks to uh, create uh, 3D maps of uh, 18 major river systems in the country uh, for purposes of uh, flood uh, modeling and hazard mapping. Uh, these 3D maps uh, provide detailed information about uh, flooding uh, occurrences in certain areas, the height of the flooding, the extent of the flooding, and uh, the uh, affected uh, affected areas and elements within uh, a certain area uh, within a certain area uh, yung 3D imaging nito ay uh, ginagamitan ng teknolohiyang ang tawag ay uh, lidar no or light detection and ranging basically uh, ranging means uh, pag sukat ng distansya at itong uh, lidar instrument na ito meron din siyang uh, positioning instrument no kagaya ng GPS para matukoy natin yung uh, position ng mga bagay-bagay so Magsusukat ito ng napakabilis, no? mga siguro isang daang libo, bawat, minu, bawat segundo. So ipapalipad mo ito sa isang aeroplano, pwede niyang iscan yung isang uh, area. So kapag naiscan yung isang area, mas malaking uh, bahagi ng ating kalupaan ang mamamapa sa mas maikling panahon. Uh, ginagamit ngay ngayon yung uh, produkto ng uh, flood uh, ng uh, dream, no? particular yung elevation data at saka yung ating uh, flood models and hazard maps, ito ay uh, inilalagay o nilalag nilalagak sa Project NOAA website. So, meron dong uh, menu no, sa, flood sa, sa Project NOAA website kung saan makikita natin ang mga flood hazard maps. So, ito ay, itong mga flood hazard maps na ito ay dala o uh, dala ng uh, dream program. For 
the Disaster Risk and Exposure Assessment for Mitigation Program, we give thumbs up!